the, the idea of uh, how that how that that's going to be used later on in the course. Okay. Now let's assume. Let's just use that value that uh, z score table that we had a minute ago. Z is equal to x minus the mean over the standard deviation. And let's assume that the value, we have a value of 50. The mean is 60 and the standard deviation is 5. So that would tell us that our z-score is going to be equal to 2, okay? So uh, we'll see how we use that in just a minute. There's four values here. Z, the value, the mean, the standard deviation. If we know any three of those values, we can calculate the other one using this formula. So if I give you a z-score and the mean, and the standard deviation, then you can calculate the value of x, and, and we'll do that. Uh, most of the time, you, you have x minus the mean over standard deviation, and you get the z, but uh, you don't have to do that. Okay, so now that I've got the z-score, um, let me look, well, let's look at a problem or two right quick. Um, we have, uh, for example, uh, we'll just set this one up. Uh, 53, 42 people take an aptitude test. The mean score for the group is uh, 69.04. Standard deviation is 16. What's the z-score associated with the following scores? They're giving you some extra information here. You don't have to know how many people are in the group to calculate this. Uh, just according to the formula, our z is equal to x minus the mean over the standard deviation. So we've got uh, here x is 64, the mean is uh, 69.04, and then the standard deviation is 19. So we just go through, we get a minus 5.04, divide that by 19, and that gives us some uh, the z score, which is going to be about you know, uh, a little bit uh, greater than uh, 20, uh, 0.25, but it's negative. It's important as you go through and work through these to, to sort of be able to draw it, make a drawing here. Here's the mean, 69.04. Here's the value we're looking for, 64. So you know. That, I mean, you should be able to expect a z-score that's negative, okay, uh, when you do that. So uh, that's how uh, that particular problem uh, would be worked. Let's look at another one right quick. We have a, a graduate school entrance exam produces raw scores with a mean of uh, 380 standard deviation of 45. The z scores associated with raw scores of, okay? So let's try this first one. 390 minus 380 over 45. That's going to give me the z score. So it's going to be 10 over 45, whatever value that is. I didn't bring the calculator with me, but uh, just setting it up, I think, is the, the best thing to do. Let me do the calculations later. So, again, the mean is 380. The value we're looking for is 390. It's, the standard deviation is 45. So you can go through and you can see. There it is. I didn't show you that earlier. But uh, you can see that, uh, see how those values work out. Okay, now that we have our z-score, let's see if we can figure out the how we use the tables. Okay, for example, here's a table. Um, it's found in your, your textbook. So we found a, a value of two earlier. So we'll go to the second page. Let's see if I can get this to zoom in a little bit. So we look here and we find a value of two. 
right here. Okay? 2.0, it has a, a value of uh, point four seven seven two. that's between the mean and the z-score. If we look up here at the top, the value between the mean and the z-score and the area beyond the z. So, our, we have this that's between the mean and the z-score. So let's back out. And then the other value here is 0 0.0228, which is beyond the z. Okay, so let me draw another little drawing here. Um, what that means is that in this particular table, our z up here, our x value that we found, well, it's a z actually, our z score, there's 0 0.4772 between the mean and this value, and then there's 0 0.0225 between the mean and this value. On this half of the distribution, there's 0 0.5. You add these together, you get 0.5, so there's a total of one under the entire uh, distribution. So if we wanted to know the area beyond that value that we calculated, the probability of finding, of getting a value beyond that value, it would be 0 0.0228 or 2.28%. Okay? So that's how you use these tables.